everybody. I am the Earthen One, and this is actually my second video of my Earth Talk segment. And the way I've got this thing set up is I'm going to be reading what I've scripted for myself. So it might not be the most natural, but I really want to get my point across for this video because it's really, really, really important. So without further ado, it is I. The Earthen One, a pirate for the sea, and I'm in this crazy getup today. I don't know if it's really crazy. I tend to dress up in costumes all the time, but I'm in this getup today to talk about one of my favorite real-life pirates. Unlike most fearsome warriors, this guy is actually saving the world, like for reals. If you don't know who Captain Paul Watson is, you need to pause this video right now, and then like YouTube him or look him up on the internet. Um, his Facebook, he's got some really good poetry and some really good information, so I would recommend that because it's from the source, of course. Um, but yeah, pause the video and look him up because he's amazing. Captain Paul Watson is an eco-savior and one of my personal heroes. He's been a part, of, a part of countless campaigns to preserve wildlife, many times coming close to being killed for his own causes. Like, for example, I remember in one of the documentaries, I believe... A pirate for the sea, he put himself in the line many times for animals. I remember there was a humpback whale story and a seal story, two very, very heart-wrenching stories, but like he put himself in front of the animals when people were getting ready to like do something very terrible to them. He has been a part of countless campaigns to preserve wildlife, many times coming very close to being killed for his cause. He was actually one of the Greenpeace founders, or the founding members, that is, um, and then founded Sea Shepherd Conservation Society, which you may have heard of, an organization putting their lives daily on the line to protect animals and the environment. He appears in several documentaries, and I highly recommend you guys watch them or check them out, because even though he is a controversial man, he really has done so much good for the world. And I believe those documentaries, at least two of them, are available on Netflix. One of them is A Pirate for the Sea, and then the other one is... I can't remember the title of it, but it's really good, and I will put the names on the bottom of the video at the bottom. Um, he has dedicated his life to his craft for reals. Um, he regularly, regularly embarks on crusades to save land animals, sharks, seals, and even whales, which you may have heard of him on the show Whale Wars, which is airing on Animal Planet and actually the fifth season, just fourth season, fourth season, just finished up. So um, I know that's on demand also if you want to watch it. And also f three or four of the seasons are on, no, it is the fifth season. Three of the seasons are on Netflix as, as well. So check out Whale Wars if you want. It's really good. Years ago, in 2002, a shark finning vessel rammed Captain Watson's ships, one of them anyway, um, and it was clearly not their fault if you want to go check out the video footage of the quote-unquote, you know, like, uh, what's the word, uh, collision. It's very clear that it's not their fault. But the Costa Rican government is charging him, well, charged him back in the day in 2002 with various offenses because you know, someone on the finning boat accused the captain of trying to kill him as if the collision was a, you know, murderous in intent. The, the collision had murderous intent, that is. A few months ago in May 2012, um, Captain Paul Watson was detained in a German airport in Frankfurt, Germany, after stepping off a plane. He was detained in a high-security prison for over a week. I believe it was about 11 days? I don't know. But when he was finally released from prison, he was being detained under house arrest. And Captain Paul Watson is being detained to this day, which could prevent him from being a part of campaigns in the coming years that are critical for the well-being of endangered species worldwide. Especially on their whale Crusades. I know that they have gotten the number of whales killed reduced so severely to so like 800 whales being saved. It's just it's just ridiculous that they're gonna accuse a man like that for something that was done 12 years ago. It's just crazy. But you know he is in charge of saving so much, so many lives, and really, really could use everyone's help. So if you could help our quote-unquote small cause and send some messages to the German Justice Department to set Captain Paul Watson free from a 10-year-old offense, um, 
or is it over 10 years? I don't know. Oh, 10 years. It was 10 years. I'm sorry. Um, I would have, <laughs> I would hate to see this great person extradited for, co to Costa Rica, and then he'd be possibly in prison there for many years to come. And I know he's not under house arrest anymore. He is free to go about, you know, his business in Germany, but he has to report back to a police station, if I'm not mistaken, a police station, um, to prove that he is indeed still in Germany and not going to get even more, you know, charges latched onto his already ginormous charge. Uh, but if he gets extradited to Costa Rica, he could spend a very long time in prison, and we do not want that. So I have some email addresses and addresses and phone numbers that you guys can use to send letters and emails out to free him. It's honestly, like, going to take five minutes for you guys to type up an email if you would like, and it would be really um, helpful. My little eye patch is getting a little, there we go, getting a little crazy. Um, so this is a person you're going to want to be um, messaging, and it's the Federal Minister of Justice. The name, I have a hard time pronouncing it, so please don't stab me for saying it wrong, but the name should be Sabine Luthauser Schnarrenberger, and then I've got the address, the phone number, and a fax machine. Um, so please message that. Why are we patting shark finners on the back for slaughtering creatures to sell a small body part in a, you know, for a soup? like the fin or the teeth for a souvenir shop. The shark po population is hella dwindled, and yet these people are still doing this shit. It's ridiculous. Hopefully we can get Paul out of Germany and he can help the planet some more. He's doing some great things in Germany now and spreading some awareness, but no one wants to be a prisoner, so let's help him out so he can just do it, you know, on his own time in his own areas that he had already planned on that it makes sense, but it made sense. Yeah. Anyway, as for me, I am soon signing up to help on the Sea Shepherd uh, onshore volunteers. Um, luckily, I live in the same state that their office is located in. However, it's about a very, very long drive away, and I am fully dependent on buses. So when I save enough money, I can hopefully help on the on-sea, and if they're ever in the area, which they do do tours and such in the area, I am totally going to be available to help table or you know, fundraise or anything that they need help with, of course. Um, if anybody wants to band together with me to start a donation for Sea Shepherd, message me because this is one of my favorite causes and I would really love to get involved in that. Until next time, my earthen beauties.